Hey everybody, I'm back. This is day two. Got my uh, phosphate pellets here today. Gonna show you guys how my little do it yourself phosphate worker goes. Okay, so this is my phosphate right here that I got at the store yesterday. Like little funnel I use. Yeah, this is what the stuff looks like. Kind of grainy, like little sand. You can see like the little beads. And when this cost me like fifteen dollars, and what this is gonna do, I'm gonna put this into my reactor, and hopefully it'll take out some phosphate. Well, it will take out phosphate. Okay, so here I have it already in use. As you can see, I have the water bottle I showed you previously. There's the little bed of phosphates. Well, let me get a... It's kind of moving. It's not... I have to adjust that a bit. Here at the end, you can see that I put a little bit of... Uh, um, like filter inside the tube to prevent like any of the five feet coming out if they do and there it is so that's that's the way my reactor is set up what I have to add is when you are creating your own reactor when you're adding in the phosphates make sure that they are thoroughly washed I've had a problem with this because my I put, I didn't I knew I I mean I washed it a little bit but I didn't wash it too well and my all my water got clouded up and I had to get like two big buckets of water and just dump it out put it back in so if you want to avoid that I recommend you thoroughly washing your little phosphate beads before you put them into your reactor um, I'll do a test like I did before of the water quality with the phosphates now but this is I think actually. And this is two days after I put it in, so, uh, and then uh, I'll tell you how what has changed and if it has or has got worse, or and then you'll see that. So there's that's it. That's my little phosphate reactor. Yeah, you can see the little things jumping up in there. This is the water is like from the pump going into it. All right. 